With so much of our planet being made up of jungle and forest land, it is unsurprising that there are secrets and mysteries concealed within these beautiful areas. From finding new animals who live alongside us to uncovering artifacts, the possibilities are boundless as to what we could stumble across within the trees. One can only hope and wonder as to what and who we may find in the future. But for now, we can only reflect on the phenomenal secrets that have been uncovered from within the jungles. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three mysteries and discoveries from within our jungles. The Mysterious Ropen Scientists and researchers have long acknowledged that we have not discovered and named nearly all of the plant and animal species that lie hidden throughout the planet, and one of the places considered most rife with undiscovered creatures and plants is the deep jungles of Papua New Guinea. One of the most legendary of these potentially hidden species is the ropen, which is a winged reptile resembling a gigantic bat that is considered to be very closely descended from the ancient pterodactyl. One of the most distinctive characteristics of the cryptid ropen, which means demon flyer, is its bioluminescent body that supposedly helps to attract and catch fish as it hunts during the night. Natives of Papua New Guinea have much folklore revolving around the ropen which takes the role of both man and spirit in legends. But creationists have also fanatically searched for the beast as evidence that the Earth is not as old as scientists believe, leaving some to claim that the rumours of its existence were fabricated entirely by creationists. However, the first sighting of the Ropen was recorded by well-respected and renowned entomologist Evelyn Cheeseman in 1935, decades before the creationists took up the cause. There are still others who claim that the reported sightings of the Ropen are, in fact, merely a misidentified pterosaur, despite that species being known to be extinct. Other realists attribute the sightings to giant bats that are known to inhabit the area and have wingspans of up to two meters. However, the bioluminescence of the Ropen is perhaps the strongest evidence of its existence, as most of the reported sightings have been of glimpses of flashes of glowing light as the Ropen darted and fished during the night. No other creature known to the area can be attributed to these flashes in the night sky, which strengthens the argument for the existence of the cryptid. But the fact that flashes are all that have been glimpsed, and its body and general form and appearance is largely unknown, leads the rational to believe that the flashes could even be a freak of nature similar to the northern lights, rather than a creature at all. In 2006, an American creationist set out to prove the existence of the Ropen once and for all, and provide support for the creationist theory of a much younger Earth. But after two nights of vigilance was only able to capture footage of their glowing aura and was forced to leave just as unsatisfied as when he arrived. Perhaps we will never discover whether a prehistoric, bat-like creature roams the night skies of Papua New Guinea, and maybe that is just how the Ropen likes it. Be it mythical cryptid whose rumoured presence has led multiple expeditions on fruitless searches to attempt to find concrete proof of its existence, or eight miles worth of highly detailed, unbelievable Ice Age cliff paintings that have lain undiscovered in plain sight for thousands of years, there is no doubt that the Amazon rainforest conceals many secrets. We will likely never be able to say that we truly understand all of the mysteries that lie hidden within the vines, and all that there is to do is continue the search as we attempt to uncover the secrets of the Amazon. Network of Amazon Villages Modern, advanced, remote laser scanners have revealed a network of ancient villages hidden deep within the Amazon rainforest. Archaeologists did know that there was a series of villages within the Amazon prior to this new research, but the advancement of geodetic technology has allowed us to deepen our knowledge, finding some new information regarding the locations and arrangements of various settlements, as well as the way in which they are organized. These new discoveries have been made through the help of LiDAR scanning technology. This tech has a broad range of uses. You'll find it within your iPhone, but it also has played a key role in archaeological discoveries, such as this one. One researcher on this project, Jose Iriate, explained that even though equipment such as satellites were in place over the area, these roads and villages went undetected by them. This shift away from the classic archaeological techniques, namely excavation, has been a time saver saving the need to physically dig and clear out these sites. The LiDAR sensors had been mounted on helicopters which scoured the sky, covering the area containing these villages, roads, and settlements. 
These connections save money, time and labour of an excavation despite this being the sturdy go-to archaeological method. This new equipment provides excellent opportunities for areas that may not be particularly accessible on foot. The new groundbreaking research that has followed since the employment of the latest technology is the dating of these villages. These settlements have been determined to date back between AD 1300 to 1700 and are seemingly positioned according to the stars, as they hold a strong resemblance to what is referred to as Native American space. Each village appears to be centered around what has been referred to as mounds. These villages appear to have anywhere between 3 and 32 mounds, some reaching 20 meters in length and 3 meters in height. Some of these have maintained a rounded shape, whilst others appear to be rectangular, increasing the questions about these mounds. Despite comparisons with other villages with mounds, we remain uncertain as to their purpose. Some have suggested they were simply homes. Some have suggested they were reserved for members of the community of great importance. Other explanations have included suggestions that they may be a religious establishment or it has been said that these mounds could even be cemeteries. The LiDAR technology has also found roads connecting each of these villages. The majority of these settlements had at least four roads, main roads and secondary minor roads heading both north and south. As of yet, 36 villages have been surveyed. There has been a great discrepancy regarding the distance between each one, with some being miles apart and others just three kilometers away. The questions that have been raised after this discovery may lead to physical excavations to try and solve some of the mysteries we have been left with. We are struggling to piece together the puzzle, with too much of a gap in each piece of history. Now we know that an excavation may help to complete these unanswered questions. Whilst these helicopter scans are useful, we have to consider this preliminary research. The LiDAR technology has allowed us to locate and map out certain structures in dense, difficult-to-read areas, but there's still plenty of research left to go before we can find the answers to our questions. Mayan Palace Found in Mexico Hidden deep within the jungles of Mexico, archaeologists have found the ruins of a long-forgotten Mayan palace that dates back over 1,000 years. Excavations of Mayan structures in Caluba, the area surrounding the palace, have been ongoing for years, but it was only recently that archaeologists were able to remove some of the dense tree cover to unearth this new treasure, which appears to have been built as a residence for the Mayan elite. The ground structure, which measures 180 feet by 50 feet and is 20 feet tall, had six rooms and a staircase. It would have also been a part of a compound that included an altar, oven and residential rooms, which are still being excavated and investigated, and add to the grand scale of the building. Archaeological evidence suggests that the palace was employed during two periods of the heights of the Mayan Empire, the Late Classic from 600 to 900 AD and the Terminal Classic from 850 to 1050 AD. The relatively well-preserved remains and the presence of several relics have allowed archaeologists to date it, as well as study the site for clues about the massive but mysterious civilization that ruled the Yucatan Peninsula for over 2,000 years. Additionally, a burial site was located near the grounds that included several secondary burials, which are cases where the body was reburied at the palace, and the analysis of these remains and how they were placed will likely tell us much about the practices and rituals of this once powerful civilization. Because so little is known about the architecture of this region, and the ancient palace remains must be carefully conserved, archaeologists are first focusing on reforesting the area that had been cleared so that this valuable treasure trove can be preserved and studied for many years to come. In its prime, the Mayan Empire reached from what is now southern Mexico and through Guatemala, Belize and Honduras. It was a wonder of technology, innovation, culture and engineering, and built the renowned stepped pyramids that are scattered throughout Mexico and the surrounding lands. They also created impressively advanced systems of metalwork, irrigation, agriculture and hieroglyphics. Despite the massive ruins and clues about this highly advanced and sometimes brutal civilization, researchers still have many unanswered questions about how the Mayans lived how they built their empire, and how they fell after two millennia of prominence. 